Welcome back to another week in my life. Thank you for visiting my corner of the internet. If you're new here, my name is Alex. I live in Brooklyn. I work full time in social media marketing. I'm also a content creator here on YouTube. It's Sunday, November 12th. I am just leaving a little store that I ran to after going to the gym in my neighborhood. Had a really good workout session, a lot of weight training, some good stretching, all that good stuff. That's how I'm starting off my Sunday. Um, I'm going to find some breakfast and some coffee naturally. Um, and then I think I need to find a tripod or like a some type of selfie stick that I can use to help me vlog just because I've been dealing fine with like switching arms doing it so far with my phone, but I think I need a tool. I thought I had like an old piece of equipment, but I can't seem to find it. So I'm gonna look for one of those today and edit last week's vlog. Um, the week before, uh, would usually go live today. Well, I would usually have a vlog going live today, but I made a mistake in the scheduling and it went live yesterday. So it's doing well so far, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and get started on editing the next one for you all as well. So stick with me. Um, this is just a pretty calm week of work before, a pretty calm week, just working, working out before I head to Florida next weekend. So just trying to keep the routine tight manage everything and make sure I'm prepared for the trip next week. I'm remembering everything that I want to take and all that good stuff and just tying up loose ends before I leave the city. So yeah, let's get the rest of this weekend underway. It is still Sunday. I have come back home, made me a little brunch, enjoyed that with some coffee. I took my new vitamin. I'm trying a new vitamin, so I'll see how I feel after that. So far, so good. Um, not feeling, um, I'm not feeling nauseous or anything like that. There's no like weird aftertaste. Sometimes you get that with vitamins, um, but it's the, so this is the current combo. I'm doing my kind organics, women's once daily, and then a uh, garden of life, which is, this is a garden of life brand as well. Um, once daily women's probiotic. I take these in the morning after I eat something. I just started on this vitamin, so, you know, I only have 30 for right now, but I think if I like it, I'll just get a bigger one the next time. I'm trying to take care of myself and, and you know, get the most bioavailable stuff, uh, but also not spend a fortune. Um, I don't want this all to like go in the toilet every time I take a vitamin and it's like, no, no, that is being absorbed into your body. I really haven't started working on next week's vlog yet. Before I do that, I think I'm gonna do that more in the afternoon. It is a little sunny today, so I think I'm gonna get out. Um, well, I know I'm gonna get out. I was just watching a YouTube video, a B&H video, um, with the Instagram content creator, Ethan Barber, who I follow and I like love his content. Um, he did a talk at a B&H Expo about just like the best ways to capture on your iPhone and stuff. And then I was also looking through some of my old footage and like putting together some stuff to put on Instagram because I've been neglecting my feed. Like my story is always there. So if you want more immediate updates of like what's going on day to day before it hits the channel, because everything's a week behind right now, um, you can go to my Instagram stories. There's usually a story there of me going to the gym, going to grab coffee somewhere cool, um, being out with friends, going to events and everything. So yeah, um, you can see all of that in real time and then come back here and watch the vlog to get a little bit more depth and detail. Um, but yeah, I was watching that and looking back at some of my footage and I've already been toying with the idea of getting a new piece of equipment as like either a, um, not quite a gimbal and not quite a selfie stick, just kind of like a mini tripod that I can have to set up around the house um, just because I have been like rigging my phone up in the weirdest ways. Like right now, my phone is just on a phone stand that I have that I use because in terms of ergonomics, I don't like to like end up like this on my phone. So it's easy when I'm sitting at the desk to have the phone propped up. 
And then I couldn't find two pieces of the equipment that I already had in the house, but also those two pieces of equipment are not very travel friendly. I don't wanna to have to take a huge bag everywhere I go. I definitely can't take a full-size tripod everywhere I go. The um, handles on the, the mount that I would use, it was just, it was too big. Um, so I found a piece of equipment that I'm gonna go get from B&H. I tie it back to B&H and watching this talk on television and all of this stuff starting in my mind. And I'm like, I should go and get it. I've been thinking about it. And you know, B&H is open on, open on Sundays. I don't really have any other plans aside from editing this vlog. Um, so I was like, I'll just go pick it up in store and then I'll come back and show you all like what it, what's in it, um, some ways I'm thinking of using it and all that good stuff. But yeah, it's a chill Sunday so far. Got my workout in, came back and had breakfast and coffee, took my vitamins. I just took a fire shower. You ever have those like just get like a really good everything shower and not have to rush out the door? And you can just kind of like ugh, luxuriate in it. That's where I'm at right now. And I worked out pretty hard this morning. So it was really good to like, even when I was putting on lotion, just kind of like giving myself a little massage. Everything smells good and is moist and beautiful. I don't know if you all can see my skin. Could my elbows be more moist? I don't know. But I'm just feeling great after that shower and just that moisturizing session. Feeling like a new woman um, after this morning. And it is only, it's 12.20, it's only noon. So still got some of the day ahead of me. We have about four more hours of sunlight. So I want to make the best of that. I'm like tempted to go to a grocery store to just get a couple things for the week, but I have leftover chili in the fridge. I'm gonna go to work two days this week and then next week and I'm leaving for Florida. So while I need to not order in, I also need to not overbuy groceries. So. We're gonna figure that out, but yeah. I am going to go ahead and get dressed and get ready to head out the door. I'll take you all with me to B&H. And you know me, I always just find my way around to literally anything else, whatever else pops into my head or whatever catches my eye while I'm out. Maybe I'll go into Hudson Yards or something like that. Um, that's just a block or so away. But another thing, in addition to a great start to the morning and my everything shower. I also have like three candles burning. The Trader Joe's candle that I got yesterday, which does smell really good. Um, the forest fur, fi uh, forest fur candle that I got from Target last week, that was $5. The um, Trader Joe's one I have was $4. And then I have an Apotec Apotheca. I still don't know how to say this brand's name. Apotheca. Um, one burning as well. That was $12 at Italy for a little tiny one, but that's like a more fancy one. And it, 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 it smells marvelous in here, you guys. I wish, I wish you could smell it right now, but this combo, chef's kiss. It's, tempted, it's tempting to stay in here and just edit and be cozy in my spot and get my rent's worth. You know, I pay a pretty penny, so I wanna get my value out of it. Um, <laughs> but I need to go get this stuff from B&H, I already paid for it. Uh, but yeah, it should be fun. Let's get ready and go. time getting to test out taping myself well filming myself with the new tripod handle mount tool that I just got um, it's from Joby so channeling Casey Neistat right <laughs> um, and it got it comes with a mount it's actually pretty cool I'm loving it this is a great spot to like just try it out back up in one of my favorite filming spots especially during the sunset I don't get the extra glow today but I was trying to film this for you all as like the first time that I'm using 
the uh, filming setup, the tripod that I got. Um, it's a little filming rig from Joby. I'm loving it already. I was filming when I was in Hudson Yards, but they were playing a lot of music and you know, on YouTube, you'll get a copyright flag for that, um, unless it's like just a couple of seconds, but I didn't even want to risk it. So I figured I'd do a little bit here while it's kind of scenic. I love good lighting. You'll, you'll learn that about me. I try to find like really good lighting for you guys. Like, okay, plane's gone by. But yeah, this is it. It is a Joby like grip. I have it right here in front of me. I could just look at the packaging. It is a grip tight mount with um, grip tight pro with a telepod. This can be a tripod. This can be handheld. Hold on. I love it. It's versatile. I think I paid like 65 bucks for this total. Very excited about this. Excited to film with this this week. Yeah, I'm about to go back in, edit this vlog, have dinner so I can start my intermittent fast and just get ready for the week. And I'll probably pick up tomorrow with you all um, with my workout in the morning. See you then. All right, it's Monday morning, first workout in the books. I decided to use the gym in my building today. I've been going to Blink since they opened up a Blink in my neighborhood um, that's just like very close to me. But today I decided to go downstairs, partly because it was pretty cold when this morning, um, when I got up this morning and it was gonna be in the 30s and I didn't wanna like struggle to get outside. So I had a pretty light workout, just did some um, walking and then also some upper body, some arms and back. I'm standing outside to do some of this like cold therapy. This is my substitute for a cold plunge after a workout. Stand outside in the cold, as you can see maybe. I'm like just in a jumpsuit and a sports bra, right? <laughs> <coughs> as you can maybe see i'm just in a jumpsuit and a sports bra right now that i wore to work out this morning um it's actually it doesn't feel that cold i don't know maybe i'm losing my mind the sun is beaming right on me um but yeah not so bad but if the cold standing in the cold or being in the cold helps i should have the help from this morning so yeah i'm gonna go back inside and start some laundry have breakfast, shower, get ready for the day. I was able to finish editing the vlog last night, so I exported it. So I'm just gonna watch the week before this is, the, the vlog that goes up a week before this. Watch that through just to make sure everything is good. And then I'll upload it and be almost done um, before it posts on Sunday. So in terms of social calendar this week, like I said, I am prepping to get ready to go to Florida. I leave on Sunday, um, so not too much, but of course, I have a couple events. One is thrown by my building. I'm doing a coffee tour with some friends on Saturday. Um, and then there's something else that I literally cannot remember what it is. I feel like it's another building event. Oh, you know what? There's two this week. So they have one tomorrow and then we have a wine event on Saturday afternoon. But before I do that, I'm gonna go on the coffee tour. Let's go get this week started. I will check in with you all later. now Wednesday checking in here yesterday I had my in-office day not crazy eventful but I wanted to hop on here this morning I feel like I'm having just a really good morning it's beautiful outside I made it to the gym just after six I got up and I actually walked to the blink in my neighborhood which is now becoming a thing I'm really liking the new blink too I'm always like well, what if I just go to blink you know sometimes in the evenings because it is getting darker you know I try not to go any later than like seven um like seven to eight because if I go eight I'm like I just don't want to be walking in the neighborhood by myself like that that hour of the night call me call me scaredy cat but um you know I'm risk averse so yeah I don't like to be out there too late but like even in the mornings, I'm like, mm, maybe I won't go downstairs. Maybe I'll take the little walk and go. Yesterday was an in-office day, so I did work out um, here. And then, no, yesterday I wasn't feeling great, so I didn't work out. Um, but I was like, you know what? Take this day and then get back at it tomorrow. So I went ahead and went this morning. Felt really great getting up. Had a really good workout. Did some upper body stuff, which is not as fun as lower body and glutes and stuff. But you know. 
it has to get done. Um, I made some breakfast and I even had time to like sit down and enjoy my breakfast, start my coffee and watch a vlog. I watched a Brooke Michio vlog. Well, I watched most of it, but I'm about to get ready for my second meeting. I had a 9 a.m., but that's always super short. So after that, I'm like, let me finish my breakfast, get ready for the day. I'm delaying my post-workout shower and getting dressed until I have time to like actually do my hair. I threw my hair up in like a little clip back bun ponytail situation yesterday. Um, to avoid doing it but because it was so like tangly I could feel it when it was like out I was like maybe I just need to pull it back and I'm getting braids when I go to Florida I cannot wait for these ladies to braid my hair like you have no idea like I get really like as a person who does my hair all the time I get really tired of doing my hair and then I just be looking crazy and I don't want to look crazy but I also don't want to do my hair all the time so we got to find a middle road um so I'll look cute and not have to do my hair once I get my hair braided, but I'm not getting it done until, oop, I'm not getting it done until the Friday that I'm in Florida. So it'll be like, just as I'm getting ready to head back, I'll have some fresh braids for New York City. You'll get to see this face. Let me tell you something, when my hair is pulled back, my face, she really jumps out. She really jumps out. Um, but yeah, so that's what's going on this morning. I'll show you all some of my packing. It is Wednesday, I leave on Sunday and yes, I pack early and part of the reason I can do this is because I'm going to colder um, I'm going to warmer weather um, and I'm living in colder weather right now so like the stuff that I'm wearing on a day-to-day -day basis it don't matter because what I'm gonna be packing it's already clean it's hanging up in my closet because it's from last season I'm gonna take this meeting get through some of this work day do my hair I need to also look cute with my hair and maybe redo my nails because Missouri the um, the jewelry brand, I have been doing like Instagram posts for them in exchange for um, for their pieces for like a couple of years now. And for Black Friday, they are sending me um, a beautiful ring and you'll probably see it on Instagram before this vlog goes up. Um, so please go show it some support. I think I'll have to do one load of laundry and then I'm just gonna plot on doing laundry at my sister's house while I'm in Florida because I'm there for a week. Okay, so I'm about to open up a pomegranate, the pomegranate that I got at the event on Saturday. And I have one of my social media friends <laughs> say they need help opening up a pomegranate. And I've been doing these for years. It is not easy. It can be a little messy, but I, I enjoy it and they're so good and it's worth it. So we're gonna do that now. So first, I like to just like take a look at the pomegranate and try to like chop off just the very top piece. This one's very juicy, so it's hard to not cut into them, but you will cut into them anyway. And then when you cut up high enough, you'll see that they're like these splits. Hold on, let me make sure my camera's really clear. They're like these splits that kind of like show that there's sections. Let me try to get this out. There's That's that way, but you can kind of see, and I cut along those, but just very lightly and also make room to make a mess. Um, there's another one here. There's seemingly another one here. Honest, right? And then you can you can kind of see that they're like all split out, kind of like a pie cut. Nature is amazing. Like this literally just grows. Um, and there it is, our little alien looking pomegranate. I have a bowl. This is so juicy. I'm just gonna dump it. Um, and I take it like kind of one piece at a time. It is a little time consuming and you just kind of pop them into the bowl. Like you don't need to push them too hard. You don't want to burst them. There you go. It's like push them into a little catch all and that's it. That's how you do the pomegranate. So if you were frightened by pomegranates, be frightened no more feel encouraged to go and try one. Also, like I understand pomegranates are not cheap. You know, I feel like a good pomegranate that looks good, I'm willing to pay around $3 for. Um, and that's that can be a lot of other things, you know? $3 seems like, oh, it's a little bit, but if you spent $3 on one piece of produce and it doesn't turn out well, you're not really encouraged to buy it again. Um, 
And I wouldn't encourage anybody to do that, to be like, spend three bucks on something in the produce section that you're not even sure you're going to like make use of. I'd rather you get a couple Honeycrisp apples, or I mean, honestly, Honeycrisp apples get a little pricey too, so that would probably only be like one or two Honeycrisp apples. But I'd rather you spend that $3 on something from the season that is really good, or you can get an avocado um, or something like that for the same price. But that's how you do pomegranates, or you could be lucky like me and get it free at an event that you paid to go to. So actually, it kind of technically wasn't free. It was just... It came with the price of admission, which I can appreciate as well. Yeah, so that's it. Good morning. It is almost 7 a.m. I'm walking to the gym. It's Friday, November 17th. I'm on the way to the gym and I'm on the bus, the struggle bus this morning. Um, I went into the office yesterday for half of the day uh, because, oh my gosh, the sunrise is so pretty. I love this little spot. Like, it's so pretty. Look at that. She's so cute. One of my coworkers last day was yesterday. So she invited everyone out. We we're doing drinks after work and we went to Beyond the Pale. I have been walking past this place so many times and I'm like, I don't know, it's gonna be good inside, it's gonna be good inside. It's so cute and it filled up and was like popping. And now I'm like, I gotta go back. Like, I'm gonna go back. It's so close to my work. And yeah, we had a great time. Drinks were good. They made an amazing old fashioned. I'm like, is this my spot? I have been saying, you know, I usually leave midday if I don't, like if my meetings are broken up, I'll go ahead and leave the office so that I don't have to commute with a whole bunch of people. It's just way less convenient and fun and there are more delays or whatever. So I try to get home before rush hour. If not, I try to delay it to after rush hour. And I've been saying like, oh, I should plan going for like a drink or something after work one day, or like just try to get into the habit a little bit, but I just hadn't. And I saw this as a great opportunity to go out and be social and go to this event. And I was like, yes, let me do this. And I had a great time, but I also got home way later, had drinks past my intermittent fasting time. So I just had some fries, which is also past my intermittent fasting time. Which is fine i just wanted to balance it out and sober up i literally have one drink what do i mean what do i mean sober up either way i had some fries and a drink last night past my intermittent fasting time so my fast is off it's the end of the week i think i'm just tired in general all these things are coming together it's seven instead of getting to the um, gym at like 6 30 i'm getting there like seven but we're gonna get a workout in get the day started and i'll check in. Ooh, it's getting loud i'll check in with you all later all right, I am back inside, got my workout in, got the juices flowing, feeling good. I love to start my day that way. Yesterday was on wheels. I feel like I didn't capture very much, if anything at all. I think I got like some B-roll. Um, I went into the office like mid, late morning yesterday after my first couple of meetings. Um, during one of my breaks, I went to a couple stops. I was just like, I couldn't sit anymore. Like that was my second day in the office this week. And I think I just sat a lot getting ready to like deliver something um, to clients one day. I couldn't sit, I needed to get up. And I also had a break in meetings. So I ran to Target, I got a top coat for my nails cause the top coat I've been using has not been doing very well. And then I also got my oldest nephew a shirt from Kith Kids. They're doing a collaboration with the New York Knicks. His dad is not a Knicks fan. They're not like, we're not a Knicks family, but um, I wanted to give him something that said New York and he had just turned eight. I got him some other gifts that he'd asked for for his birthday. He also got like some like more mature clothes and like some nice sneakers. I think he got some Jordans and some, I think they're blazers. Um, and then like some other little, you know, a little drip. So I was like, okay, He's getting into drip era and I feel like I need to bring him something 
from New York as his New York auntie. Like, I feel like I need to bring something. And I would have got something for the little one. I just struggle so much with their sizes. So I've gotten to the point where I'm like, you don't always have to get both of them something at the same time. And they're not always gonna like need and want the same things because they're such different age. They're like five years apart. Also, I mentioned we went to Beyond the Pale for drinks after work, which is really cool. And I was leaving there and I was kicking myself because it was even in my calendar. Weeks ago when I told you all I had gone into the paper plane store, the reps there told me that yesterday there was gonna be a party in the store. Like they told, it was like a month ago, I feel like at this point. They were like, oh yeah, on November 16th, we're having a party. And I was like, cool, let me put it in my calendar right now. And they didn't say anything on the social media and I didn't stop back in the store. I like wave if I'm walking by when I'm at work and stuff. But I didn't go back in and ask like, hey, what's going on with the party? And nothing else showed up on social media until yesterday after the party started. And it was like, oh, a friends and family party at the paper plane store. And I was like, I guess that was the invite. I guess that was it. It was like, come here at like six o'clock on November 16th. <laughs> um, and I didn't. So I say all that to say when I was leaving Beyond the Pale, I saw a huge crowd outside the paper plane store because the party was going on and it was spilling into the street. And I would have loved to like have been there like in the right like gear, look, vibe, everything. I had my leftover dig in my hand from lunch at work. I had left the bar because it was so hot. It was hot at one point in the bar when it got really um, crowded. Uh, but also New York is like back in the 60s, which is a whole nother story. I left the bar to go cool off, but I was like, I don't smoke cigarettes, so I don't have anything to do out here. There's a little Japanese mart across the street. I go into it. What do I find? Sriracha. Not any sriracha. Sriracha, sr oh, I have it right here. Sriracha, sriracha. That's like impossible to find these days. So I say all that to say, in the other bag that I was carrying with my leftover dig from lunch at work was a bag of sriracha from the Asian Mart that I went to across the street from the bar. And then I, of course, had my um, Dane Dover. I guess some people say it Dagny Dover. That sounds so annoying. Um, Dagny Dover bag with my work computer and all its fixings in there. And I was wearing what I'd worn to work that day, which would have been fine if I just like, yeah, it just, I was sad that I couldn't say, like I hung outside for a little bit and it was vibe. I could have just stayed and started talking to people and hung out, you know? and maybe work my way into the store. But I was like, oh my God, I'm just like mentally not prepared for this right now. So I left and went home. But yeah, that was yesterday. It was a while, it was a very New York like couple of hours, I must say. Like stumbling onto a new bar with coworkers, it was actually really cool. Just having a good time, it was a little unpredictable. Um, and then I brought my behind home. So I had a good time, even though I was like a little, a little draggy this morning. I got to the gym at like seven-ish or whatever time I said I was walking. Finished by eight, I'm about to make breakfast, shower up, get ready for my meeting at nine. We have a late meeting today. Usually we try to end by like noon on Fridays, if not like keep it super, super base level. But we have a client presentation, which I'm not looking forward to doing at three o'clock on a Friday. Um, but yeah, I'll catch up with y'all once I'm like cleaning up in here. My apartment's also a little bit of a mess. I need to do some laundry before I go to my sister's house. All of the things, packing, everything everything um and then of course i have the coffee crawl tomorrow i'll make sure i take you all with me for that and i think we'll wrap the vlog saturday and yeah get into the florida week which i'm very excited for cannot wait to be i mean it's already warm here but wait to be in the sun and at the beach and all that good stuff all right i'll check in with y'all later so i have like 20-ish minutes before my next meeting so i'm gonna start putting some of the stuff that i've like gathered together to pack for Florida into my bag, doing a little Pacquiana with me. Um, I like to start early with packing because I don't like to forget anything. I like to be comfortable when I'm traveling. I like to remember all the stuff, all the stuff. I'm taking both of my laptops with me, one mine so I can edit vlogs and everything. And then my work one because I work on Monday and Tuesday, kind of on Wednesday, and then the following Monday I'll be working as well. So taking all my tech stuff with me and just even remembering all of your chargers and everything, that is, that's the whole thing in and of itself. I'm going to have to take my external hard drives, all of my chargers, my personal stuff. So like my charger for my watch, my headphones, 
everything. So I kind of think of all the categories with like shoes, clothes, toiletries, tech, all that good stuff. So I'm literally just gonna start throwing stuff into the suitcases, telling you all a little bit, a little bit about it. So I mentioned yesterday that I got my nephew a cute little kid's shirt. I don't wanna lose the paper. I don't know, they folded it up so nice. Use your imagination. It's a Kith, um, Kith and New York Knicks collab. Oh, I need all my little bags too. Like I have like shoe bags. There's like so much beach sand in this freaking bag. Embarrassing. I have a bunch of clean pajamas to start with because I don't wear pajamas at home. <laughs> I sleep naked, so I have plenty of those on hand. Um, there are a pair of long Calvin Klein's that I wear around. It's just like loungewear sometimes. A little Abercrombie short sleeve. It's warm in Florida, um, so I can not have to worry about like the stuff that I'm wearing right now being dirty and used right now or that I'm gonna wear it. A bathing suit. I have to remember that. I like to take this bag that came with my Dagny Dover tote um, and use it for like dirty laundry while I'm there. So I always pack that. And then shoes and stuff. This could probably take a couple pairs of shoes in this one bag. I'm not a packing cube girly. I'll probably put two pairs of shoes in here, like sandals or whatever. In there, I have my cute in, uh, Instagram buy. I'm I was advertised this dress on Instagram and I feel like I've seen several people with it and they're all like, I saw the Instagram ad for it. And that's why I have a job. Um, I'm just gonna give a rough hold on that one. Just kinda like, I kinda packed twice, not gonna lie. My farm reel top, this goes hard in Florida. Um, all my cool weather stuff. A little Abercrombie, another bodysuit that I can wear while I'm there. A little hoochie coochie outfit. This is from the Target and Fee Noel collab. It's the little Chi Chi Get the Yayo top with a little flare skirt that like hugs your tummy. Love that. This top from Abercrombie. Nice, comfy, ready for warm weather. Oop. Let me get these hangers together. Oh my gosh, I'm just tossing them on the ground. My, I'm gonna be there for a week, so you know, need plenty of stuff to wear. Cute little Barbie top. Everything was being made in this Barbie color this year since Barbie was coming out. And then I'm freaking, I might wear this to the airport. This Uniqlo, like the weight of this cotton shirt, for me to have paid $15 for this, it just, it feels so good. Like, I think I'm gonna wear this in jeans and a little simple jacket to the airport just so that I'm comfortable. I'm not too cold, I'm not too hot. I have a light layer I can take on and off, you know? It's giving airport dad vibes. I think I'm gonna wear that to the airport. I'm gonna just put that there. I don't wanna wrinkle it up. But yeah, this is chapter one of packing, well, kind of like chapter two of packing. And I'll continue that, but I just wanted to pull that stuff out of the closet, start pulling this together. And yeah, that's starting the pack for Florida. I'm going to actually stop this for now and put these hangers away before my next meeting. And after this meeting, it's the weekend. It is the weekend. We're going on a coffee crawl tomorrow. We have a wine tasting tomorrow. And I leave for Florida on Sunday. I cannot wait. I just went to Trader Joe's earlier between meetings and got some more of the citrus balsam candles that I'm loving and got some frozen fruit for when I need to make smoothies when I'm back. But yeah, I am thriving, feeling like my best self. So yeah. It is Friday night at a time that I like to call TikTok hour. Can you see my TV? That's TikTok on the big screen. And that's what happens at TikTok hour. We turn TikTok on the big screen. I just took some polish off my nails. Dishwasher is full. I'm going to run it soon. I just swept. I vacuumed. I'm done with work. I vacuum under my desk. I'm about to moisturize my hands since I just used nail polish remover. And I'm going to sit here and watch TikTok to my heart's content for the next 45 minutes so I can be up on the stuff. That's that. It is Saturday, November 18th. It is a gloomy Saturday but it, right now, but it says it's supposed to clear up in like an hour or two. So I'm ready for that because I feel a little underdressed. 
the temperature has been so hard to keep track of and I can't stand being like hot and overdressed and we're in the 50s, it's the low 50s. So I just have on a short sleeve cotton shirt under this and this little hoodie, but I'm a little chilly, I'm not gonna lie. It's not like unbearable, but it's gonna need to warm up. Um, I am headed to the coffee tour, the neighborhood coffee tour that I'm going on with my friends this morning. Um, we are starting at Say, which I love, so that's where I'm headed to right now, a couple minutes away. Let's see how this goes. I haven't had any coffee. I've had breakfast, so I'm ready to be caffeinated. Alrighty, it is Saturday afternoon. The sun is probably about to set, it's four o'clock. I just got back from doing both the coffee tour in my neighborhood, as well as a wine tasting with my building and um, a local wine shop called Lovebirds. That was really great. I'm a little tipsy and I wanted to come in and end this vlog off here. I'm heading to Florida tomorrow morning. Um, I have a lot to do before I leave tomorrow. I have one more load of laundry to do. I need to take all the stuff that I had started to pack and like organize it in my bag, get ready for tomorrow, make sure all my tech and stuff is together, um, start uploading the proxies for the vlog that you're watching right now, um, and just get ready to get out the door tomorrow morning. So I hope you all enjoyed this vlog of a week with me in my life in New York City. I can't wait to take you all with me to Florida this week um, and enjoy the Thanksgiving holiday. I hope you all enjoyed your Thanksgiving holiday by the time you're watching this. I appreciate you watching. If you liked it here, um, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. My name is Alexandria, I'm 33. I live in New York City. I work in social media marketing by day and I'm a content creator by night and all other times that I'm free to do it. Um, I make content about living in New York, dating, fitness, health, content creation, tech, all of the things, food and wine. I think I said that already. All things that I care about and love and immerse myself in. Um, and if you like any of that, you can catch my videos on right now, Sundays at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is when this video should go up in a couple of weeks. But thanks again. Hope you all had a great Thanksgiving and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.